So this reaction, it's a neutralization reaction. We have HF, hydrofluoric acid, plus a base, FeOH3, that's iron-3 hydroxide, and we get iron-3 fluoride plus water. Let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one hydrogen here, and then we have three times this whole thing, so we have three times the one hydrogen there. That'll give us four total hydrogens. Fluorines, we have one. Iron, we have one. And this three again applies to everything, so three times the one oxygen, three oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, we have two hydrogens, three fluorines, one iron, and one oxygen. So let's do this. Why don't we fix these fluorines first, and then maybe the hydrogens and oxygens, they'll work out. We'll see. To fix the fluorines, we'll put a coefficient of three in front of the HF. So one times three, that gives us three. So that fixed the fluorines, but we need to update the hydrogens. So we have one times three, plus we have the three times the one hydrogen, three. We have six total hydrogens. So it didn't fix the hydrogens, but that's not too bad because if we have two here and we need to get six to be balanced, we could put a coefficient of three, two times the three, that would give us six hydrogens. So those would be balanced. And then the oxygens, we have one times the three. We need to update that. And that gives us three oxygens. But that's great because we already had three oxygens here. And you can see that we balance this equation. Everything's the same on each side. And we are done. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HF plus FeOH3 yields FeF3 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.